Hello again everyone, I'm Lee Berger and welcome back to the 105 Expedition. We're just about ready to start the first phase of, of working in the cave and that'll happen in, in just a couple of days. But I want to walk you through the idea of how we're going to do this excavation of the XC2 material. That's the material that the lime miners have dumped in various dumps on the inside that we have to get out of the cave to examine. It's got a lot of important fossils in it, but also that we need to clear it out so that we can see the in situ deposits if there are others and to better look at what the formation of the cave is. So join me now. I'm going to uh, put my, my trusty helmet on. We're going to go underground here down our, our brand new steps and, and take a look at how we're we're going to conduct the actual removal of this material while keeping its context. Let's go. So we are just about ready to begin the 105 expedition. The staircase is now in, as you can see, and it's complete, giving us safe access uh, into the 105 chamber. Um, we have uh, done a laser survey of the chamber and we have completed a photogrammetic map of it. That is, photogrammetry will give us a complete image of the interior of the chamber. What Paloma, Maripang, and Tembi are doing now are registering all of our points that have been brought in from outside. And uh, these allow us to map very precisely the dumps that are in here and will eventually allow us to map each and every block that comes out. The next phase of this will be to literally remove every single rock in here, the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of them, which will allow us to see the remainder of the cave. I'm going to walk you through in this video the process that will uh, take place as we uh, remove the miner's rubble, which is actually XC2, uh, from this main chamber uh, and bring it to the surface where it can be properly analyzed. For those that are not familiar with, with the equipment we use, uh, this is a laser theodolite and basically it gives you an X, Y, and Z coordinate. That is a coordinate that gives you three points in space and allows us to understand exactly where something comes from. It uses a reflective laser, which you can see the red light occasionally uh, that comes out of it that is actually what maps the position very precisely. What's happening now is they're beginning to look if different places where they can station the theodolite will actually be able to see blocks as they're picked up because they have to record particularly important blocks as they're discovered um, and before they go to the surface so we know their exact location. So to walk you through the process that will be undertaken here, a block will be collected from one of those dumps down there. Um, it'll be shot in if it contains important fossils. It then will be manually brought up in sort of a chain of people. Um, there'll be collectors and scientists down there where the material is recovered from. And remember that material is XC2. It's not in place. It was placed there after blasting by miners. It then is carried here where it will meet a person standing at the base of this stairs and it will go up those stairs, handed to another person up there. And by the way, the safety officer sits right there and they oversee all of the activity constantly where you see that green first aid kit. And then it's carried up that stairs where it's met halfway up and then all the way to the surface. So the blocks are manually carried up this staircase and out of the cave. Once they're out of the cave, they're going to be placed here on the ground to the right of the exit. And that material will then be transported by wheelbarrow over to where we have a surface mock-up of the cave. So this is going to be where a lot of the action takes place. Um, those are, of course, our portable toilets that have been put in here. And the material will be coming from behind me along this route. Uh, in wheelbarrows. And remember, it's all been identified underground. It'll have been marked from where it came from, from what dump it actually came from. And it'll be heading in this direction. And you can probably see those small flags 
uh, that are in front of me. What this is, is an exact replica of the cave uh, on the surface that is underground. And these flags mark the perimeter of the cave. So now you can see that chamber where the hominids come from are actually outlined here on the surface. The blocks will be placed back into the position where they were recovered within this model of the play of the cave then what will happen is the rocks will be triaged and so they will be taken um, from this spot to some of these tents that are being set up and there'll be a command center where identification is done there'll be a washing station there'll also be a cook tent uh, on site and what will happen inside of those uh, uh, tents is First, the rocks will be washed and they'll be identified. And at that point, the dolomite, which is the country rock, the bedrock, this gray rock you see on the ground here, will be used to build a wall around the outside of this cave because we're not interested in that rock. That rock is um, almost 3 billion years old. And while it contains fossils of anaerobic bacteria, it's not what we're after uh, in this expedition. The remainder of the rock will be taken over to a command center tent, either located here or behind me here. We're actually deciding where it will go at this time. And those rocks um, will be sorted into uh, three types of rocks. That is breccia or limestone that we don't see anything in, um, limestone or breccia that we do see fossils in, but we don't think they're very important at this stage, and very important fossils. Those will be brought back into the center of the cave from where they, they um, uh, were recovered, and they will be placed back there for decisions to be made about preparation and identification. Uh, at the same time, the geologists are going to be establishing uh, through uh, geochemical analysis and sedimentological analysis and other techniques where this breccia actually comes from in the in situ deposits, and it'll eventually be matched in here. So this is a big operation. We're hoping to have a slow start um, uh, perhaps next Monday, which is Monday morning, and then we will slowly gear up. And when this is at its peak, uh, there will likely be probably 20 to 25 people on site making this expedition happen. Well, that's all for now from the 105 site. I hope you'll join us as we actually get into the discovery phase uh, coming very, very shortly.